All right, people, we're back. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Alistair Overeem. Uh, this past weekend, he pulled off a pretty sweet win. Really? Well, a pretty sweet win over a uh, Roy Nelson, which puts Roy Nelson at one and four in his last five fights. Because that's pretty much. Uh, the criteria for my top 20 on Illegal Elbow Radio, or excuse me, IllegalElbow.com. Go over, check it out, see what you think. See if you agree, you know, or whether you don't agree. You know, comment here if you want. Um, but, <clears throat> that was wholesome. But, um, Alistair Wolverine recently has been on the butt end of some nasty knockout losses. So after his win over Stefan Struve, it just proves, man, you got to continue this. You got to keep, you got to do something. We have to recreate here. We have to, you know, backpedal a little bit and uh, figure out what it is that's, you know, helping you win these fights, you know. Not so much backpedal, but kind of recreate, I guess, you know. Because Alistair Overeem is a gigantic name when it comes to, you know, overseas, you know, and and uh, Pride and uh, K1, you know, K he was a uh, champion of K1, so, um, and uh, trying not to throw so many ums in here, but, um, um, no, uh, <laughs> but uh, he looked, he looked really very good against a Roy Nelson, but on the other side of that, going into this fight, I thought, okay, Roy Nelson's going to get hit. He's going to get he's going to get beat up, you know, as Roy does. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I thought, you know what? Sooner or later, Roy's going to find that mark, and he's going to blast his chin in, and he's going to he's going to drop his ass, you know. Which I think Roy did find maybe a little somewhat, you know. Uh, maybe somewhat of a punch in there somewhere. Not really, man. I mean, Roy's a uh, a knockout puncher, man. No doubt about it, man. If he goes to the ground with the uh, Overeem, I think he'd do well. You know, with his weight, obviously, obviously his height and his weight is going to play a different factor against a, a much taller guy. You get a much taller guy on his back, it's going to be a totally different story. A more compressed, you know, wider guy, you know what I mean? So, especially if he knows how to, you know, land that iron cross on you, you know what I mean? Like he did in way back in Tough 10. But, um, just uh, to look at things a little bit more, um, what do you guys think, man? Is Alistair Wolverine gonna, at this point, really, he's a knockout, <clears throat> he's a knockout striker. But we're getting to the point where Alistair Overeem has got to realize that if he doesn't, you know, if he doesn't, you know, have a sick arsenal coming at you, can he get knocked the fuck out? Really, I mean, that's the question. Because we've seen it happen a, a couple times already in the UFC. You know what I mean? He's, he's, uh, I don't know what his actual numbers are in the UFC. I could look it up right now, but... No point in taking up a bunch of minutes during the video to, to try to find it, but Alistair Overeem is is a devastating striker, you know, a sick ass fighter, but we all know that when it comes to just when it comes down to brass tacks here, man, and, and getting ready to getting down to shit and getting nasty, a hard striker is gonna fight his chin. We all pretty much know that. So, when it comes to that, in my opinion, Alistair Overeem fought probably the smartest, most professional, most kick-ass fight I've seen him fight in a long time. Just my opinion, man. If you don't agree, that's cool. Comment on it. You know, say your, your piece on it, whatever, uh, in the comments. But I think his fight looked awesome. In terms of just getting away. Hey, you're not going to hit me, man. You're going to land shit. 
You know, but he, he did that against the Roy Nelson, which the Roy Nelson, like I said, Roy is now one and four, or excuse me, yeah, one and four in his last fight. So, being being just that, the problem is that Roy's always faced somebody that's, you know, almost like a Frank Mir kind of thing, you know. Roy's always faced somebody that's really good, you know what I mean, or or, or somebody that's, you know, on a serious ramp up, you know, on a serious way up, you know what I mean. So... I, I guess I guess my question is, you know, I mean, which I'm here I am doing another question video, but excuse me. Um, this is brought to you by uh, Miller Lite. Thank you very much. And no, I'm not hammered. I'm just, you know, I had a light, slight buzz on, but um, I can't do videos all hammered and shit. It's ridiculous, but. To me, what it looks like is maybe Overeem is taking the approach of going into fights as a point striker. I mean, really, we've seen guys like Sergio Pettis, you know, didn't have a whole a whole load of uh, knockout strikes in there, but they were hard strikes. He looked really good, but he was more of a point fighter position, you know, for lack of a better term. Is that the, the uh, is that the approach he's taken? You know, I'm talking about it over him. Is this a new thing for over him? You know, we're we're taking on the point fighting aspect where I, I'm going to land more and land better and get out of there, you know, rather than just destroy you to pieces before you find my chin. I think it's a good question, man. So we'll see, we'll see. But until then, man, illegalobo.com. And uh, also on Spreaker.com, check out Illegal Elbow MMA Show. There you go, man. Sub, comment, all that good stuff, man. We'll see you guys. Thanks.